In this video, we're going to discuss the steps that you need to take in order to place a trade. I have here open cable, which is panned against the dollar on the 15 minute time frame uh, with our Samlin code template and the pivots up on my screen. If we wanted to take a long entry on this particular chart, the first thing that we'd need to do is to find a suitable stop loss area. It's probably worth me mentioning uh, with the amount of volatility flowing through this currency pair with all the Brexit news, it wouldn't be a trade I'd advise, but it's very important for you to understand the steps and that's all we're gonna focus on in this video. I'm gonna use my crosshair tool, which is located in the top left hand of the screen, which is Control F if you wanted the shortcut. And I can take price to where it's situated now and I'm gonna drag down to where I would like my stop loss to be placed. For a long entry, I'm gonna go for a stop loss just below this UK pivot level. Okay. Now, as I hold my mouse down at this point, you'll be able to see the middle number situated there as 500. This number's been displayed in point value, and we need to take that value and divide it by 10 to convert it into pips. What we mean to say is that my stop loss is gonna be placed at 50 pips away from my entry. Once I have that value, I'm ready to make my calculation. I have a 10,000 US dollar account open and I'm aiming to place a 1% risk per trade. 1% of 10,000 equates to $100 and that's the maximum hit that I want to take on this position should it go against me. I take that 100 and I divide it by my stop loss, which was 50, which equates to two. What this means is that every time that cable moves a pip in my direction or against me, I will make or lose $2. The last step is to take those $2 and divide it by 10, which converts the monetary value into what we call a lot size. 2 divided by 10 is 0.2. I'm now ready to place the trade. I can click New Order, and under my Volume section, I'll type in 0.2, which has already been put there for me and very simply press buy. I confirm it by clicking OK and as you can see a green dotted line floating across my chart showing me the trade's been activated. I'm sitting currently in a small loss of a couple of dollars which is the broker's spread. Now we know our stop loss we needed it to calculate our volume but we also need to place our stop loss into play and inform our broker that that's where we'd like to be taken out. I take my entry and I'm going to simply drag it downwards and a new red line has appeared and I'm going to hold that line at my desired stop loss level. Now as you can see on the left hand side there's a monetary value which is in and around minus 100 which is perfect which is just in line with our 50 pip stop loss. In this case it's landed at 51 pips which is absolutely fine and as I let go my stop loss has been activated. I'm going to just confirm it by clicking this icon and it's been set. If I hover my mouse over the stop loss level it will confirm to me that at a level of 51 pips my maximum loss is $102 which is effectively my 1% risk per trade.